shed hunting again today. Been going out with uh, Greg quite a bit because he's been laid off and I haven't started back work yet either. So we're uh, shed hunting. <clears throat> it's a new spot. have never been here. Haven't had that great of a day. Haven't really found much, but uh, I just walked up on my first one here. So let's check it out. Looks like it's an old one. So yeah, it's been there a while. It's probably been there three years. Pretty old. In good shape still, but chalky. So seeing those cracks and everything. Got a tiny bit of brown left, but, but yeah. Solid antler. At least we got one today, so. Things pretty nice buck really we'd nice, like to find his browns i'm sure there's some more in here somewhere it's just pretty thick pretty thick stuff just walking through and it's really steep too but all right stay tuned we'll uh find some more for you guys with andrew today we uh just found the first one of the day he found it here, just an old, old chewed up one here, but we're up here hitting this stuff, so keep you posted if we find anything else. Well, we are just driving down the road here, Andrew and I, we are driving down the road and I looked and I was like, there's no way that's an antler on the right on the road like that, but it's a uh, Fork and horn elk shed. Things probably two, three years old. They're just laying there. Must have got caught up when they plowed or something, but not too bad. Second antler of the day. We're gonna go down here and try and pick some brownies up though, so stay tuned. But yeah, first road shed of 2020. Not bad. Oh, Wolves got another one. Big surprise. Chased a cow elk right off this point here. And she's laying down there dead. Like a couple days old. I'm gonna get up here and do some howling and see if I can't uh, kill one of these bastards. back at it it's been a little while since we were out last uh, came out with Andrew today we put on quite a few miles and uh, just found another one or the first one of the day actually here so I was just walking and seeing it so it's, uh, I didn't know what it was for sure to start but it it's a really old chalky deer shed but uh, it was a weirdo I don't know what I don't know what how it sat it's such a weird weird buck it's got double eye guards ones broke off obviously old but just the way it uh way it sits it comes like straight up it was like almost a really narrow buck or something but pretty cool we'd like to find his browns so we'll uh let you know if we find anything else in here yeah it is well we got another one we were uh andrew was up here behind me and i was walking on this trail right here and looked up and seen uh seen this guy so second antler here probably 10 minutes it's uh probably been there this is probably its third year sitting there so finally found a spot where no one's uh no one's been which is hard to do so we're gonna keep after it and keep hitting all this stuff and uh we'll let you know if you get any more here well andrew's just hollering he uh Said he found a deadhead spike, so let's check that out. Oh yeah. 
pretty cool. I think we found a zone no one was no one's been in in a long time, so that's good. Oh yeah, a few years old, but pretty cool. Really cool. Heck yeah. Not bad. No, not <laughs> bad at all. Day's turning out to be pretty good. So, all right, let's get the rest of them. everyone I just wanted to uh, close out my uh, last video that I just posted here it's probably gonna be the last deer shed hunting video I have it's just uh, getting close to uh, elk season I'm gonna start looking for start looking for bulls and uh, so, sorry elk shed season when they're gonna start shedding pretty soon so I'm gonna start looking for bulls and uh, do a lot of scouting and stuff for them so I probably not gonna be picking up a whole lot of uh, deer sheds anymore i ended up with uh, 18 for the year so far on deer sheds which is better than i've ever done um, this is the first year where i really went out and tried to get as many deer sheds as i can i found uh, five brownies and uh, the rest were either hard white or older but had some pretty cool times uh, with friends i uh, want to thank andrew um, greg and uh, my little sister jamie and uh, just had some pretty good times with everybody out there in the woods and uh, had some pretty cool stuff that we found also. Uh, I also found one uh, fork and horn elk shed which you would have seen on this video. Um, Karen too, thank you for coming with us, Greg and I. But uh, anyway, so we had a good had a good uh, go at the, elk, or the deer sheds and uh, it was pretty good times. So. Hopefully we could start picking up uh, elk sheds here pretty soon. So it might be might be a couple weeks or a month until you know the browns start drop dropping here in North Idaho for elk, and uh, that'll be when I start putting out more elk shed hunting videos. But I think I'm gonna do a video in between this one and the and the elk shed hunting videos. That's gonna be about the uh, dead bull I found during archery last year. It's a huge deadhead bull elk, six by six, that was uh, three scored three sixty six and three eighths, and uh, it was probably six to eight years old. And I restored it. I didn't do a video on the restoration of it because I was new to it and I didn't want to. Um, I didn't really want to tell other people how to do it when I didn't even know what I was doing. But it ended up turning out awesome. So I'm going to show you guys what I used and show you the aftermath some before and after pictures and stuff and see what you guys think but i think it turned out great everybody's told me it turned out awesome so it's pretty awesome to find that so anyway i just want to thank all you guys for uh, liking my videos and subscribing it's been uh it's been almost one year i think since my first video came out on here so i'm pretty happy with uh, the way everything's been going and i've gotten a lot of positive feedback from you guys so thank you so much and uh, hopefully it won't be very long before we start picking up elk sheds that's what i'm really excited for so Everybody stay safe out there. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully I got another video for you guys in a couple weeks.